Hello, today I will be giving you a short knot tutorial on three different types of knots used mainly for rock climbing and rappelling. You might notice these from other things known as boating, tying an inner tube. Our first knot will be the figure eight on a bite. You'll start with a length of rope, doesn't matter, just a length of rope. From here, you will fold one end of the rope to the other, making somewhat of a U shape. Next, you will fold the middle part of the rope with no ends to one side, making a J shape. From here, you will fold that U end with no ends of the rope over. Next, that base layer you will fold underneath the rest of the rope. From there, you will loop the unended section of rope through the other loop, pulling through, thus giving this the final product the figure eight on a bite knot. Next, we will be talking about the super eight on a bite knot. You'll start out with the same three processes, same four processes as you did with the figure eight on a bite, shown here. Next, you will fold the middle section of this rope in the other loop, like so. But make sure you do not put the rope all the way through. From here, you can see that my finger is between the rope, not putting all the rope through. Next, you will fold the loop over the, set, the two sections of rope in here, then pulling through, giving you the figure it on a bite, but with two loops at the end instead of one, thus the super it on a bite. The last knot we will be talking about is the clove hitch. Start out with the length of rope, just as you would with the super it on a bite or the figure it on a bite. You will make one folded over section of rope making a circle, making sure that this section of the rope is folded over top. Next, you'll do the same thing on the other side, just making sure that the layer of rope is underneath. Next, you'll make a pretzel shaped with the knots, finally folding them over on top of each other. Next, you would just pull through and it will make sure it's a tight bond. That's all I have, and thank you for watching this short tutorial on nuts. Thanks.